And then here are two people who have no diversity. I, I have never seen either of them play anybody else. True. I mean, Timco used to be an inkling main. Says yeah, the character true. sucks. Enlightened man. Um, yeah, that character kind of did. <laughs> that character not great. But yeah. Oh. So I guess Kirk goes through Gyro. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah but a lot of this matchup is going to be mitigating how much Rob can do to a character like Iggy, where they don't have the best out of, out of disadvantage options. Yeah. And um, recently, KO got third on the Pittsburgh PR, so one of our best for sure. Oh, this would be an upset if Tim Cohen's, but Tim Co makes upsets all the time. He does. He's such a wild card of yeah. a player. Every time you see Timka, you're like, man, like this could go one of two ways. He either gets bodied and then gets drunk afterwards, <laughs> or he just owns them. And gets drunk afterwards. Yeah, and gets drunk afterwards. <laughs> yeah, very true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gets the grab. Ooh. Is this going to be the kill? This Ooh, no doesn't match. With oh, yeah, that's kind of messed up that move hits the ground. <laughs> I mean, I think, I actually like that down throw mix up, because you do have options to get out, you know? For sure. It is a mind game, and I like that. I was oh. playing this one wide, but the, most, the highest I've ever gotten out of it, 167. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mm. Oh, does the spin oh. out on him? Gets punished. Oh, gets no, down no, that's going to That's, oh. oh, my God. Just I don't know if that was perfect DI at all, because it looked like it went a little too sideways, but... Still, that's incredible punish for KO. Yeah. KO actually seated in this turn, I believe, to get third or fourth? I think third. I think it's Infinite Perks KO. I that's could what I be think wrong. too. I know. Yeah, oh, that's with yeah, the SD. Unfortunate. unfortunate. First game, three stock. Unfortunate SD. You know, sometimes Rob does that to you. You just kind of have to accept it and move on with your life. Oh, for sure. I'm going to do the next game. The funny thing about this is Timco literally told me and said, hey, I'm not going to do well today. He didn't think he was going to make it to this round. Oh, wow. So, Who did he have to play before this? Do you know? uh, I don't know. One of the, someone who's just a con guard, I believe. Oh. But like, regardless, like, I know he was playing someone earlier who was actually pretty good and had a really rough time against him. Okay, but ended up pulling it out. Yeah, ended up pulling it out. Oh. So him being here is already going against what he said. All right. I mean, fair enough. pretty awesome. I wonder where Timco's going to go. Hovering over Kalos, this makes sense. Less likely to die to the Rob Cheese. Iggy can recover from basically anywhere. Yeah, like so, unless you get Blast Zoned, you're probably not going to die as Iggy, which is, I think this is a good pick. The downside is Rob's projectiles are like harder to avoid because you don't have the platforms, but you can't have a perfect stage against one of the best characters in the game. Yeah, for sure. Like, I, I agree with this pick, to be honest. I either this or I would think, is Iggy really good on Smashville? I honestly don't know. But so is Rob. <laughs> yeah. Like that nair is gonna cover everything. But the, the issue here is gonna be this platform on the side. Because even though Iggy can mix up the recovery here because of the platform, so can Rob. Yeah, Rob sure doesn't is. ever have to go to ledge in this matchup. Also, I'm pretty sure that was just a side beat. Is it not? I honestly missed it. You might be right. Oh. It was just gyro throw at like 60. Like pretty close to him. Sometimes Maybe it wouldn't just, have caught. Maybe it yeah. Wouldn't have caught. If you're not sure, go for the safe option and then get it next time, you know? Yeah, it's important to take damage over risking being a bit of bad position, to be honest. This is an even game, though, and KO's on ledge. Oh, corner to Cannibal. That was awesome. That was Going sick. high. Yo. Oh, almost covers it with the up the hammer. A little bit sick of the hit, to be honest. Gyro. Now, here's going to be the issue coming back here. Because now you have to deal with... Oh! He goes over the ledge. That's, that's the classic for this character. Yeah. The Nair going to catch him. Honestly, Rob Nair's gonna start killing now, but also that's gonna definitely take it. KO loves his down smash, goes for it, and I mean, he gets it a lot. He knows when to use it. Yeah, he's very good at hitting that down smash. It's always really scary because you could just be in any situation and you miss attack, just down smash, that's it. Yep. It's deceptively strong. Oh, ooh, unfortunate up smash. I, I thought he was gonna do something off the ledge too, so. That's yeah, so it. That's something similar. <laughs> The key here is, can Timco take the stock? Rob can rack up damage so quickly, and his advantage state is one of the best in the game. So it's like, if you don't take the stock soon, you can just kind of get snowballed. Yeah. Um, on ledge, so he can... And with the frame trap, up here to up smash, that, that was, was awesome. That was actually really beautiful. And honestly, at that percent, don't sleep on that upper. It would have killed. Really? Yeah, that would have killed at that percent. It has very low base knockback, but it has crazy knockback growth, especially like past 100. Gotcha. KO coming in with another down smash. Timco gets out of ledge, gets a combo. It's even again. Yeah. Unfortunately, gets punished for. Ooh, that could be big. Take that ledge here. Gets out of there. Gets some good little damage tacked on. I think. This stage is working out because Timco's been doing a good job of just like getting out of disadvantage. <gasps> oh my 
Oh my god, he takes the lead for the first time in the game. That's huge. If Timco takes game two, this is only a best of three still. This would be a huge upset. Huge. I mean, I don't think Timco's seated to make top, uh, I don't think he's seated to, to get like nine even. Real? Okay. I mean, he might be. He might be. I might be wrong. Yeah. KO with the up air, though. He's very good at like catching you, trying to get back to stage aggressively. He covers like stage very well. One of yeah, his best. And then you have this little rinse and repeat where Zach will just put you in this situation that's just terrible with Gyro and it makes it so hard. Yeah. But even now, it's still even percents basically. Yeah, he is deceptively heavy too. So. Yeah, especially when in the cart. When he's out of the cart, he can die a bit sooner, but like. Yeah. Oh. And then Raw's hitboxes are so big that it's actually hard to hit um, Iggy just standard without the cart. So I know a lot of characters that beat this character can just hit the top part. Right. I know Wolfbacker and Nair can do that easily. But Raw's hitboxes are just huge. Up He's there. not going to be hitting that part. Up there, not going to take it. Tim Kill gets out of ledge, gets down tilted. Oh, oh no, the read! And that is a beautiful 2-0. Timco played really well that game. Yeah. That, that was such was, a huge turnaround. Definitely adapted very well from game one. Kind of went in, seemed like he wasn't too aware of the matchup, but ended up avoiding a lot of stuff game two. Yeah, Made it very sure. close.